Hello and a warm welcome on what is a glorious night for football. Perfect playing conditions. I'm Derek Ray in the commentary position and alongside me is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player Stuart Robson. And everyone here on tenterhooks, you'd have to say, with good reason. It's the Colorado Rapids and they take on Melbourne City. Yes, thanks as always, Derek. We've got two good teams here, so I'm anticipating a really good game. The atmosphere is electric inside the stadium before kickoff, and hopefully we're not disappointed. And the lineup for the home side. Well, I think they have a nice balance to their team. A solid back four, two holding midfielders, three creative players in advance of them, and a mobile centre forward. It's a good team. Determined defending. And it's gone behind for the corner. Well, they're going for the short one. Nicely blocked, but he's got to get rid of it. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Tilio. Now looking dangerous here. Timely intervention. Couldn't find a teammate. Throw in here. Might really be able to trouble them here. Lewis. Rubio. Price. Acosta. I think most defenders would expect to be booked halting an attack in that fashion. And a yellow card for that, Stuart. And he's going to have to be careful now. That was a silly challenge. He's got to be cross with himself straight into that human barrier. Marco Tilio. Richard van der Fenne. It's Jamie McLaren. And he stopped them in their tracks. And given away. Well, not great on the accuracy front. Goal kick here. Rosenberry. Maxu. Could be. Well, what an opportunity that was. Well, that's a great chance to open the scoring. It's a poor effort in the end. Well, those stats tell you everything. A tight and cagey game without enough goal mouth action. Both teams need to get more oh, players. Oh, wait a minute, Stuart. Look what's happening. That's a foul, and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. Well, the free kick lacking just a little bit of guile. Andreas Maxu. And space here on the flank but a good piece of defending to bring it to an end now the stoppage time situation one minute here 
the first half here comes to an end So back underway here into the second half. Interception to snuff out the danger. And the referee allowing advantage to accrue to them. Maxu. From the Fenne. Can they hit on the break? But quick thinking defensively. That's useful play. And a textbook interception. So a half an hour remaining. Tilio. And beating the defender. And the cross goes in. But keeper's ball. They'll be disappointed with that delivery. Jonathan Lewis. Well, offside. I rather think he was caught in two minds. Well, he just needed to go elsewhere with his pass. He showed a complete lack of awareness there. So making the substitution now. Well, that'll be a free kick. Plenty of support here. And credit is due for that good piece of defending. Jamie McLaren. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. Opportunity. Well, just leaning back a bit and over the bar. Berenguet. And making headway. Well, danger averted thanks to his teammate. Just ten minutes to go. Still pushing for a winner. Superb block. That's a useful cross. And good pressure high up the pitch. McLaren. Matthew Leckie. Clean challenge. Good thing from his point of view. Well, just listen to this noise. How could you not be inspired by that? So a personnel change then. That is that after 90 minutes. They are level and extra time is coming up. Well, the ball rolling again here. The first period of extra time and you've got to wonder to what extent fatigue will play a part at this now. It's been an extremely competitive 90 minutes. Now far from a smooth challenge. Now will the referee produce a card? And he does produce the yellow card. Yeah, and it certainly deserved a yellow. It's a poor challenge, you have to say. Prepare to take on the shot. And that's easy-peasy for the keeper. 
Well, there you have it, right on cue with the stats, and it tells you everything you need to know. They've been so poor in front of goal, and no wonder the manager's agitated. They should be comfortably ahead in this. Well, in an advanced position, looking to remedy that here. Curtis Good. Talbot. Andrew Naboot. And he keeps going. Splendid defending, and it needed to be. The cross is on. Half time in extra time, and still they are level. And so 15 more minutes. We're into the second period of extra time here. In with a chance. And he's outdone himself. Wonderful save there. Scott Jameson. Sustained pressure and they have the ball now. Really good interception. Time is fast running out. Five minutes left in the second period of extra time here. Can they push ahead in the closing stages? Theme emerging of wasted possession. Well, it's a really poor challenge. Now, what's the referee going to do about it? Well, deemed to have been a cautionable offence. Well, no question about it. He deserved his book in there. Couldn't quite hang on. Well, good defending, clattered out of there. It always had the potential to go the distance, and it has, so a penalty shootout is next. And now it is all about the penalty shootout. Well, the keeper reacted magnificently. Goalkeeper beaten from the spot. And up he comes, doing his best to remain focused. And confidently converted. And slotted home right into the bottom corner. Excellent penalty. So lethal in front of goal. Composure is so important under these trying circumstances. In it goes. Clinical as always in front of goal. And he steps up to take the shot. Job done from the spot. It won't be lost on him what's at stake here. He knows he's got to score. Oh, he's missed it! It's all over! Well, it's a really poor penalty, I'm afraid, but you have to feel for him. He was under so much pressure. He'll relive that moment over and over again.